Hello, I'm Patrick Leach. I'm the CEO of Decision Strategies Incorporated. The recent precipitous drop in oil price has changed the business environment for an awful lot of companies. Oil producers obviously are looking at significantly lower revenues. Uh, energy consumers, on the other hand, are looking at significantly lower costs. And regardless of which side of the coin you fall on, there's a tendency sometimes for people to kind of pull back and retrench at times like this, and now is not the time to do that. In fact, this is actually a very good time to take a step back and reassess your business strategy in light of the changes in the business environment. Our approach to strategy development here at Decision Strategies is to integrate risk and uncertainty management into the strategy development process so that you have a clear picture of the full range of outcomes associated with your strategic alternatives. Now there's a misperception that a lot of people have about this process which is that it's very time consuming and it takes a lot of effort. That's not usually the case, especially when dealing with strategic questions. In fact, usually a two-day framing workshop with the right people will get your company an awful long way towards finding a really good strategy that you can get behind. Building probabilistic economic models really comes into its own in the middle tier of decision making in businesses, which is the major capital investment, major capital project level. If you think of decision making in the three tiers, at the upper level you've got strategic decisions, portfolio level decisions, the middle level you've got major capital investments, and the lower level you've got operational decisions. At the lowest level, the operational level, we're doing things that we have a lot of experience with, and as a result of that, the uncertainties tend not to be that wide, and our instincts tend to be very good. As a result of that, back of the envelope calculations, getting the right people in the room for an hour or two to make sure everybody's pulling in the right direction, and, and you can pretty much get to where you need to go. The middle level, the major capital investment level, generally speaking, the primary drivers are financial, and those are quantifiable which means that building a model for these big projects is very often well worth the time and effort. Uh, you got to build the model, populate it with good ranged inputs, and run it, and you'll get non-intuitive outputs that will help you gain insights into which direction you want to go. At the strategic level, though, building a model to model your entire company is, is quite a daunting task and, and usually not very fruitful. More importantly though, at the strategic level, the primary decisions are not just financial. They involve judgments regarding trade-offs to be made between competing objectives. These are best dealt with in a more qualitative manner, which can easily be done in a two-day framing workshop. So, if you're in a situation where your business environment has changed significantly due to the, price, the drop in oil price, Rather than retrenching, this is probably a really good time to think about how might you want to modify your strategy or perhaps even take a step back and say, if we were starting afresh, what would our strategy be? In either case, give us a call. We can help you come to the conclusion that you need.